baby. Come here, baby. Come here, honey. Oh, she's so tiny. Come here. Come here. Come here, baby. Come on, let's go find mama. Come on, baby. Come on, sugar. Come here. Come here. Come on, let's go find mama. We're gonna go find mama. It was really hard for me to walk away from that little one. You know, mama kicked in and all I wanted to do was protect it and love it. But I heard mama in the back, so I knew it was okay and that I needed to just go back in the house. I needed to walk away and that's what I did. My name's Kathleen Pate and this is my Alabama farm life and I'm getting ready for hunting season. I'm gonna set up my deer feeders this week. Last year, my electric deer feeders failed. At first, I thought it was a battery problem. I charged up my batteries. I tried to get them to work again, but nothing. I actually removed the electric units and tried to turn the feeders into gravity feeders, but that also failed. But that was more towards the end of the season. I ordered a new battery just to make sure that my batteries were not malfunctioning. Neither one of the electric feeders would work, so I decided to take them apart and see if I could see if there was any obvious damage. When I took the cover off of the first one, it was obvious to see that these units have water damage. The second one did not have the obvious water damage, but I'm going to guess that the timer itself is malfunctioned. With them both out of service, I decided to go ahead and replace them with new six volt game feeder kits with the digital timers. I put both of the units together and tested them before I took them outside. I have a video of the build and a review and I'll leave the link up in the corner if you wanna watch it. I used two tools for this build. I used a wrench and my drill with a Phillips head attachment. I'm gonna go ahead and remove everything from the inside of the housing unit. I need to make sure that the bolts on the legs are good and tight, and I'm gonna use the wrench to hold the bolt down on the inside while I make sure that I tighten the wing nut. Next, I'm gonna take a few minutes to make sure that I'm familiar with a digital timer. It's actually pretty easy. Once I plugged it into the battery, it turns right on, shows the ready. The first time you hit the program button, it brings you to the clock. You can hit the program button again, and it takes you to the hour. You hit it again, and it takes you to the minutes. You change the times by using the up and down arrows. Once you've set your time, you hit program again and it sets the clock. From here, you press the up button and this brings you to feeder one. This time is set at 7 a.m. so I'm gonna keep it there. To change the time, you just go back and hit the program button and of course use the up and down buttons to change it the hour, hit program again, up and down to change the minutes. Selecting the program button again will take you to the duration. You can reduce the time of the duration by hitting the down button. Hitting the program button again will take you to the RPM, and you can either have this on high or low by selecting up or down. From here, you select program again, and it'll take you back to feeder one. To go to feeder two, press the up button. This was set for 5 p.m., so I left it there.
There are six different feeding times that you can use on this timer. You get to the sixth one and it goes back to the ready and you start all over again. With the timer set and ready to go, I need to put everything back in the box and get it set up on my feeder. The original feeder came with a short cone. I'm gonna go ahead and take this one off and put the new one on that came with the new kit. I'm going to use the new hardware that came with the kit. These are self-starting screws, but I'm just going to use the original holes to put on the new funnel. I'm going to put on the housing unit. I'm going to use the brass screws that came with the new kit, and I will be using the original holes the original electric feeder used. With the replacement parts on, I get the feeder set up and now it's time to test this unit. Let's see how it works. All right, I'm really happy with this new feeder, but I'll be keeping an eye on it to make sure it doesn't malfunction. While I'm out here, I also need to put out some salt. Last year I put out salt blocks, but they are really heavy. So someone suggested to use some ice cream salt. It's a lot lighter, it's cheaper, and I could just open the box and pour it out on the ground. I have decided to take my second feeder and put it here in my new backyard. I can actually see it from my bedroom window, so I'm hoping I can see some pretty big deer. Last year, the previous owner of the house called me and my mother-in-law over one evening, and we stood at the back window and watched three large bucks feed on corn in this backyard. I don't plan on hunting anything in my backyard, but it would really be cool to duplicate the experience that we had last year. So my fingers are crossed. Maybe we'll get lucky. And now for the final test.
my deer feeders are up and I've made sure that all my trail cams are fully charged and have new cards. They actually wanted to put some pictures of some of the deer that I captured on my trail cams, but this video is already too long. I want to say thank you to everyone who watches my channel and thank you for being here. I do appreciate you. Remember to love each other and be kind to each other. You guys have a great day.